Tagreed Hassan barely has the strength to cry. She's 12 years old. Her fragile body, like Yemen's plight, is a horror beyond words. The trauma of severe malnutrition has taken its toll. Sucking on her twisted fingers is all she can do to comfort herself. Targreed weighs just seven kilograms. A girl her age should weigh 30. Her tiny arms are so thin, the doctors say she's lucky she's still alive. But in the face of the world's largest humanitarian crisis, they're desperately trying to cope. Nasgi has a shelf, a luxigin, a boat luxigin, a bottle, a lagatal hammer, Nasal Muhadiat, a lagatal humma, Hadila to Lisa Muto Firab Shakil Kamil. For months, Yemen's children have paid the highest price in a war now in its third year. Zara is 15. This is what hunger has done to her. And now a cholera epidemic is spreading with more than 5,000 cases every day. At Hadeda Hospital, they're overwhelmed by cholera victims. More than 40% of those affected are children. Yemen was already on its knees, but now a disease which should have been left in the 19th century is in every part of the country. In the villages, this waterborne infection is claiming lives, as one father who lost his four-year-old son, Ali, told us. In the nearby clinic, Targreed is finally receiving help. The father Ibrahim says they're doing all they can. Across Yemen, hunger and cholera cast the darkest of shadows. One aid agency has called this country suffering a shame upon humanity.